Hi friends, uh, before getting into the electroplating simulation, we will try to discuss about the butler volumer equation derivation and its significance in the electroplating. Uh, so the rate of oxidation or reduction at an electrode, I mean at an anode or a cathode, depends on the activation barrier uh, which can be modified by applying a potential difference across the electrode and solution interface. So for example, if you take, so this is an cathode at which there are negative ions, right? So, and the positive ions will try to attract towards these negative ions and now any positive ions need to overcome this barrier and then go to the negative part of the cathode. So this is the solution. In the solution there will be a anions and which need to be moved to the negative electrode or cathode. So the barrier through which it need to cross is the activation barrier or the Gibbs free energy what it need to cross. right? So if you take this uh, metal ion, it is a positive metal ion, which need to interact with the electrons which are present on the cathode. So then it need to overcome this delta G or Gibbs free energy barrier and it forms a metal solid. And the reverse can also happen where the metal solid will lose its electrons on the cathode, it comes and diffuses into the solution. For both of the things, it need to cross this delta G. So in the equilibrium, we can say that the forward and the backward rates or forward uh, propagation or backward propagation will be same, right? So this is the forward rate of uh, current, what you will say IA, and this is a backward rate of current or anodic current and cathodic current at the cathode. So it is only at cathode. So it similarly, it can have at the anode also. In the anode case, so there will be positive, which is placed on the anode. And there will be a negative which is already which been attracted towards this anode and any negative electrons which need to move and get stuck onto this uh, positive anode it need to overcome the barrier as mentioned at the cathode so there is an anode cathode reaction that will happen at both anode and cathode right so this is the uh, thing what you need to understand so there will be activation barrier both for as cathode as well as both for anode. For both of the things, there will be a reaction propagation. So the surface of the solid electrode is in contact with the ions in an electrolytic solution. So the rate of oxidation reaction at this interface depends on how rapidly uh, the electrons can transfer. Through. So how rapidly the electrons will transfer that will uh, be dependent on the Gibbs free energy barrier. Right. So from the transition state, we already know that rate constant equation is equals to B in P e power minus delta G naught by R P. So this is the rate constant equation and it depends on the Gibbs free energy delta G naught and that is a rate constant equation. Right. So in order to have the rate, it is nothing but K into C R. K into C naught. One is for reduction and other is for oxidation. And the rate of flow of charge, which is nothing but Faraday's law, F is equals to number of electrons that are flowing. Right. So number of electrons is nothing but the rate of charge or rate of current. So you can just directly multiply F into R A, so which will give the current that is passing from the anode or current that is passing from the cathode. So which is the number of electrons flowing into the rate. So F into R A and here F into R C. R A and R C is nothing but rate constants into C R or rate constant into C naught. So this will give the current which is anodic and this is the current which is cathodic both at the cathode. Right. So now what is the overall current? The difference in the anode minus cathode is the overall current. So here is the overall current. So all this is happening only at cathode. Right. So if these both are same, then the net current will be zero. Okay. If anything is greater than other thing, so there will be a positive flow, I mean the flow in this direction or the flow in the reverse direction, right? Any of the things can happen depending on the magnitude of these values. But if the resistances or the rates are not same, so if the rates are not same, it means the delta G when it is moving in one direction is low. And compared to the other direction, so here is the other direction where one direction it is low and other direction it is high, right? So in that case, so there is an extra amount of uh, Gibbs free energy it need to overcome. 
that extra amount is depends on the constants alpha into faraday's f number of electrons that will pass and into potential difference that it need to overcome right so that is for cathode i mean cathodic reaction for anodic reaction it is 1 minus the constant the f into delta phi so delta phi is the potential difference it need to overcome now we can uh, replace this ia and ic with delta gc and delta ga initially we have a uh, delta ga and delta gc as a uh, normal delta g not but now it will be replaced with delta ga and delta gc finally you can simplify that uh, delta g not and delta sorry delta ga and delta gc with delta g which is a gibbs free energy and we can simplify that equation and now we will call a new term called over potential which is actual potential difference that is uh, obtained at the equilibrium position or equivalent position and the delta phi when the rate constants are not same or when the rates are not same so what is the potential so difference in that potential minus the equivalent potential gives the net overall or over potential so which is the extra potential over potential that need to be supplied in order to reaction to happen now this is the uh, butler volman equation so this butler volman equation can be used for our simulation purpose where ia equivalent is nothing but uh, current this this is ia equivalent which uh, fakacr right and ic equivalent is nothing but the fkc c not where delta ga and delta gc both are delta g right both are the same values at that moment ia equivalent and ic or equilibrium both are the same gibbs free energy both will have same gibbs free energy this is a butler volmer equation this equation will gives the amount of current that is been flowing or the current density that is been at one cathode or at one anode sorry one anode so these equations need to be solved both at cathode and anode so we need will have uh, alphas different alphas different constants at both anode and cathode different potentials at both anode and cathode similarly anything so we will have uh, two number or twice in number for both anode and cathode for both cathode and anode so there will be anodic reactions and cathodic reactions between the solution and the electrode okay so this is a brief about uh, how we will uh, solve the butler volmer equation or what exactly the definition of the butler volmer equation and the simple derivation what i have mentioned here uh, so hope you will uh, follow this and uh, we will go to the simulation part in the next part of the video